My name's Frank Brostrom. I'm a retired FBI agent, special agent with the FBI. When I was eight years old, I saw a book about the FBI and it just stuck in my head from the age of eight years old. My whole life plan was to become an FBI agent. I just always knew that that's what I wanted to do. I knew I couldn't get in trouble. I knew that I had to do well in school. And so, you know, I graduated with honors from high school and then I went to college and the same thing. Uh, I was an FBI agent for 27 and a half years from 1990 to 2017. My first assignment was a St. Louis office, which is considered a medium sized office. What's nice about that is you get an opportunity to do a lot of different things. Uh, if you were going to New York or LA, you would kind of get pinpointed into doing, you know, white collar or, you know, bank robberies, and you kind of stay in that, you know, in a large office. So throughout my career, I was lucky enough, I was on the bank robbery squad, uh, I became a bomb technician, and got to do a variety of different things to include a little bit of undercover. When I was in high school, I did acting a little bit and doing the role playing thing. And you really putting yourself in the role of somebody else, I found kind of easy. It was just something I think I just, I naturally had a, a niche for it and to, you know, dealing with people and it just, it came easy to me. It was hard work, don't get me wrong, and long hours, but it was just something that I learned easily to do. I just felt comfortable doing it. But this isn't a game, you know, this is very serious. And if you mess up, it could, it could be bad. So that's the intense part about it, you know? So you're, you're in a role, you're kind of a character, but you cannot make a mistake where you're gonna get hurt or hurt somebody else. So that is the high pressure part of going undercover.